In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your printer to Matter Control and then load and run the auto calibration script for your new printer. So let's start by adding a new printer. We'll go up here and we'll click on File, Add Printer, then down here we'll click Add, and we'll go ahead and name your printer. Mine is going to be Otto von Rostock. And why auto? Well, because it's auto calibrating. I know. Don't forget to tip your waitress on the way out. For the model, we're going to choose Rostock Max and go ahead and click Save and Continue. Because we already installed the driver for talking to the Rambo board when we installed the firmware, we don't need to do it here. So go ahead and click Skip and we'll click Manually Configure the Connection. Because my Rambo board came in as COM4, and that's listed here, and that's what I'll choose. Yours may or may not be the same. We'll go ahead and click Connect, and it'll take it a few seconds to connect up. And it should get right about now. There we go. Connection succeeded. Go ahead and click Done. I'm going to click on this to stop that rotation, and then I'm going to remove it. Now we're going to go ahead and add the calibration script, which will run. So go ahead and click on Add. And this is the v3probing.g code file. You can find this on the forum or on CME CNC's Rostock Max v3 GitHub repository. Go ahead and click Open. And now we're ready to run it. So just go ahead and click Print. And this will begin the process. And it will tap at the base of each tower. And essentially it's determining the platform tilt right now. It's now going to home and will probe for what's called the horizontal radius. It does this by tapping the center and then tapping the base of the Z tower. Next, it's going to determine the accurate and maximum Z axis height of the printer. It does this by probing the center section of the heated bed. And now it's saved those results to the EEPROM, and your printer is now configured and ready to print. 